Hello, this is Richard Gill, and I have bike number 89 of 250 from the CCM Spitfire Cafe Racer series. This is my second in a series of vlogs on the CCM Spitfire, so if you want to see the extras and spec of my bike, uh, check out the first vlog on this page. Uh, what I'm going to cover today is my first impressions of riding the bike. Overall, I found the bike light and easy to ride. The throttle is responsive, uh, I'm still running in, so I'm not giving it big handfuls yet. And I also admit to being a bit nervous of stalling it, as I'd seen several Facebook posts from riders who'd stall the bike at traffic lights. But I had no need to be worried, I didn't experience any problems at all. In traffic, the bike is easy to manoeuvre and the bike is small enough to make filtering between lanes of traffic relatively easy. On open roads, the engine is lovely to use. It accelerates and decelerates smoothly. And on country lanes, it sure is a lot of fun to ride. The handling feels tight and secure with plenty of grip from the factory fitted tyres on both dry and wet roads and it's such a joy to flip from one corner to the next. The gearbox is light and easy and it's great to change up and down the gears. It has plenty of torque and I can tell that the more the bike loosens up the more fun it's going to be. So uh, my criticisms, well the warning lights on the dash panel especially for things like neutral and the indicators are pretty hard to see in direct sunlight. I found the clutch lever a bit of a stretch, especially if you're wearing thicker winter gloves. Now it might be because I have the standard Cafe Racer bars, so I'm putting a bit more weight on my wrists. I have a pair of heated gloves and they're quite bulky. It's definitely easier with thinner summer gloves. Um, I have started to do some finger stretching and wrist strengthening exercises and that's definitely helping. Uh, I also found the amount of space on the grips a tiny bit constraining, uh, particularly between the mirror and the inner, inner end of the bar next to the switch gear. But again, really this is only an issue with big gloves. As always, click the subscribe button if you want to follow this series. And add a comment if there's anything in particular you'd like to see. Hope you enjoyed this and you're finding it useful and I'll see you soon.